It's a curious thing. I, I think a lot of composers would echo this, that the, the question you're most often asked is what sort of music do you write? Uh, and all of us probably find that impossible to answer because the glib and possibly slightly uh, impolite response is, if I could tell you in words, I probably wouldn't write it. And yet that is, I suppose, the truth. And so it's very difficult to answer. But just to give some comment on my own sound, firstly, I think I'm a composer who could easily have been born in another century. I think I'm quite a backward looking composer. And so the roads less taken perhaps interest me more than trying to push forward um, into a, a probably an ever reducing range of, of new options. Most things have been tried. There's a wonderful American composer at the moment, Paul Schoenfield, a bit of a maverick, and he wrote in one of his CD notes, I knew long ago that Western music was all washed up, but I just went on doing it anyway. Well, that's good enough for me too, and that's what I do. Um, my uh, erstwhile friend, colleague, uh, the composer Patrick Gowers, once heard something of mine in a concert, and he said afterwards, if you're tonal, I wouldn't like to be asked to sing do. And he apologised afterwards for what might seem a rather um, facetious remark. But as usual with Patrick, there was a grain of very shrewdly perceived truth in it. And so that's one thing I would leave you with. And another, perhaps an American uh, uh, self-appointed critic, really, but somebody who's uh, been kind enough to say they, they enjoyed my work, uh, who said that in your work, tonality, he said, is, is rather like a radio signal. It fades in and out, uh, but yet even when it's weak, we know that it originates somewhere and is strong there. So I think that encapsulates it very nicely that um, it is, in a sense, atonal music. It's not particularly dissonant. And I would like to feel that it strikes some sort of balance. I hope succeeds in doing this, but it's not for me to say. Uh, in challenging the listener enough uh, and yet challenging them in that way which makes them feel this is worth listening to again and I actually feel like doing so. Uh, I have no idea whether that'll be the case but the composer is a little like the evangelical with his sandwich board in the marketplace who probably goes home thinking if I got through to one person that's been worthwhile so I just hope I get through to one person. And that might be you. I don't know. Thank you very much for listening.